Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. Welcome back to the daily inspirational oracle reading provided to you, darlings, by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. I like for you to take a moment and think about any issues, problems, or concerns that you are having, and maybe you are looking for a different perspective or insight or even a sign from the universe. You may also allow your mind to settle into your heart and let your subconscious surface any concerns you have and let it resonate with this reading. After the reading, this energy check-in, guys, I am going to give you an opportunity to ask a yes or no question to the mystic beings. The mystic beings are a yes or no, maybe they may say not now, raise your vibration. I don't know what their answer is going to be to you, darling, but I'd like for you to think of a question and you can select card one, two, or three and see what the mystic beings answer is to you. The first card I have for you today for the daily inspirational reading is from Jungle Beauty. I mean, I'm sorry, from the father of the Jungle Beauty goddesses, the matter. And the matter's message to you today is you are the ruler of your reality. The next card I have for you, again, we're pulling in the matter energy, represents dark matter, dark energy, the the ultimate creative force in the universe and his message to you today is never choose power over love and the last card I have for you for this energy check-in today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar and Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you is Perfection is the enemy of ingenuity. My collective intuition about today's energy check-in, inspirational reading, guys, is that you have to balance self-care, family care, and your career or school. There has to be some type of balance and that you have to give up some control in order to be able to pursue your dreams at the optimal speed now i know this sounds crazy but the, what's coming to me is that it's like a person who have their foot on the gas and then the brakes at the same time i know so if your foot is on the gas and your foot is on the brakes at the exact same time then obviously you're not going anywhere right so you're working working really really hard to you know you have school you have work and you have so much to do and you ask yourself all the time why am i not getting ahead why you know why am i so exhausted why am i so tired because let me tell you because the cars are saying you need balance and you're going to have to give up some of that power some of that control you have the card from jungle beauty goddess safari that says perfection is the enemy of ingenuity what this means is that if you're trying to be the perfect mom and you're trying to be the perfect wife or the perfect girlfriend, the perfect student, the perfect employee, then you, you really, you're so drained that you're kind of like not doing, you're doing a lot of things, but you're not excelling at any of the things the way you want to excel, okay? So basically what you'll have to do is you may have to, you know, I know sometimes, let's say your boss depends on you and you love it. You kind of love the fact that she or he calls you. Well, you're going to have to delegate those assignments um, to other people. Or you're going to have to honestly stop taking on more than you can, more than you can chew, more than you can process. Because you don't have enough time to, you know, maybe, you know, take just to rest, to do something you love to rest your feet, to get a pedicure, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to give up a little bit of that. Yes, you're the ruler of your reality, but you may have to say, hey, um, I can't work this weekend, or I'm, you know, let's ask someone else who is not as busy. You're going to have to give that image up or of being the person that they can always depend on because it's really not getting you anywhere. Because even though they're depending on you, you're probably getting, you know, maybe you're not getting the grades you need in school. Or maybe your kids don't see you as often as they would like. 
or maybe you haven't had a chance to work on the book or the painting or the drawing like your supreme dream what you came here to accomplish is in the back burner because you're so busy living everybody else's dream so you're gonna have to you know maybe you need to let the kids spend more time with their dad you know or with your mother you know what I'm saying maybe you're gonna ha you're gonna have to think of a way to bring more balance into your life so that you can accomplish your goals at a at a, at a actually at a faster rate a more efficient rate at an optimal rate so um, I want to tell you a quick little story when I was working in my doctorate degree there was a moment when I thought I'm dropping out of school I, I really felt that it was I had pretty much you know I made mean, I was like 99% sure I was going to drop out of school my, both of my kids were really young they're they're like um, ten and a half months apart and I just thought I can't be a good mother and a good wife so I am going to drop out of school so on the, I had a class it was a Saturday morning class and there was a the professor never showed up this is a I'll never forget this as long as I live the professor never showed up for the class so we were waiting outside um, you know for class to start and there was a woman there who was like an older African-American woman who looked like she would be my sister like it like like just she reminded me of myself and so we just started talking and I was telling her that I had decided to drop out of school because I was under so much duress you know with the kids and you know and the jobs and I just didn't think it was a good thing to you know to continue and this will be my last semester and she said to me she said when your kids are really young what they need is somebody who is going to love them who's going to change their pamper feed them you know because my mom was always begging to keep my kids and she said there she said but when they get older they would never forget you missing a baseball game or not being at a recital she said when your kids are young this is the time to accept help from your family and finish school because when they get older they're going to need you more in a different way this woman and now I look back I think she was an angel I swear to, I swear to you I think this woman was an angel because she changed my mind about dropping out of school so so I went on to you know complete my doctorate degree but it was actually because of that conversation with her and I allowed my mom to help me take care of my kids now it really hurt me to because I was letting my kids um, I was putting my letting my kids sleep in library chairs I would take two chairs and I would push them together and put the little blanket I would have my kids out um, at the time I didn't have a computer at home so I would go to Kinko's and I was typing papers and I was you know my son was drinking coffee with me and he's like three because I could only carry one kid with the with my book bag so I would my daughter would be sleeping in the stroller and my son you know he would be um, have his little toys and it was you know it was very stressful and I wanted to be a really really good mom to my kids and I wanted to this is like right um, yeah so I wanted to be a really good mother and uh, you know my and they said that my kids were sleeping in daycare they weren't able to pay attention because they were up all night with me and they were at the library and for me to to give up some of that power it was really it was really difficult so I allowed my mom to keep my kids during the week and then I was able to do better in school I was able to get rest my kids were rested and I would pick them up every Friday but that giving up that control and that power um, it was in that perfection of my idea of being a really good mom was tough but later on you know because of my job I was able to provide my children with opportunities um, I was able to be there for them in ways I would have never been able to be there for them if I had not you know completed school so the message from today's reading is asking you where in your life can you create balance where can you ask for help where can you 
give up a little bit so that you can move forward in your life. Um, so that's the message. Now I'd like for you to think of your yes or no question for the mystic beings, child. So I want you to formulate your question and you can have card one, card two, or card three. The first pull I'm going to, is going to be for people who selected card number one. So I'd like for you to think of your question that you would like to ask the mystic beings and I am going to randomly pick a card, a yes or no card for you to see what their answer is. So the first card for people who select the number one, let's see, this is the Mystic Bean. And what is your response to the person's question who selected number one? Oh, let me see. Okay, I don't know why I put the sparkle on here. Let me read it. It says, count to three, pick again. If you receive this card again, let it go for now. So if you select the number one, I'd like for you to count to three. And I am going to shuffle the deck a little bit. And then I want, and I'm going to pick again for you. So are you ready? Okay, here we go. For people who selected, Number one, you were asked to count to three and pick again. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick again for you. Okay, we have another one. So what is your response to the person who selected number one? No. They love no. <laughs> okay, if you selected number two, Go ahead, have your question in your mind. Are you ready? I'm going to go ahead and pick a card for you, a mystic being, and see what their response is to your question. So, this person would like to know what is your response to their question. So this is for people who selected number two. It says, look for signs. So whatever your question is, the mystic beings are asking you to look for signs. So if I were you, any signs that you get, don't overlook them. Like if you hear it in a song, in a commercial, or if you talk to somebody and they're talking about something that, you know, that you keep your question private, but listen and look in the environment. Like if you have a favorite, bird like a cardinal you say okay if I see this cardinal that means whatever but go ahead and create your signs okay and now for the person who selected number three if you selected number three go ahead and formulate your question are you ready darling okay I'm going to go ahead and pull a card for you and we'll see what the mystic beings has to say in regards to your question. All right, this person who has selected number three would like to hear your response. What is your response to number three, darling? No. They love it, no, don't they? But anyway, I really hope that this reading can help someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you, darling, in the next video.